And you're listening to Dan Geltrude, America's accountant, the finance guru, every Saturday, 845, right here on WIBG Radio. We Higher freight and shipping expenses, guru, they're eating into profit margins of companies. Rising costs will possibly force them to raise prices, including Amazon. It's getting more expensive to move goods around the country because qualified truckers are in short supply in a tight labor market. Are self-driving cars almost a necessity now? Backing up here, King, this is basic supply and demand. Right now, there's not enough drivers out there, which means companies are going to have to pay more to get them. And those costs that that these companies are going to incur, like Amazon, is going to ultimately be passed on to consumers. But if drivers can't be found by companies like Amazon, uh, they're simply not going to be able to deliver on time. And that damages Amazon's business model significantly. So, you know, you order a product and within a couple of days, sometimes less, it's at your doorsteps. So are consumers going to wait a week or more for products? Maybe not. And that means they may actually take option two and return to traditional shopping at your brick and mortar type store. But as, as far as your, your question on self-driving cars or trucks, they're really not an alternative now. It's just it's not an option because you don't have that on a wide scale that's going to plug the hole with the shortage of drivers that are out there to, to get products where they need to go. So I think we will see self-driving cars and trucks and drones for that matter in the future, and they're going to assist with this problem. But for now, I think uh, freight and shipping costs are going to be going up. And I also think it's simply going to get longer to get product to your doorstep.